morning and welcome to your morning market hit for Friday the 8th of July. What matters today for traders? Well, there's a lot going on at the moment. British politics obviously making the front pages and that'll be interesting to watch over the coming weeks. Putin's issued some ominous warnings out of Russia, while Abe's shooting in Japan is certainly disturbing. But for markets, these are sideshows. And away from these sideshows, market price action has been fascinating. Over the past couple of weeks, the S&P 500 has, has been base building at the 3750 level and really struggling to break above 3850. Yesterday, though, we managed to break through those levels and quickly added another 50 points of strength. This base building theme is particularly evident in the mega caps and tech sector. Stocks such as Amazon and Tesla, which both fell sharply through April and into early May and since then have been base building. So the key question is, what happens from here? Will there be any further strength following through from that upside momentum over the past couple of days? Well, that's something we try and answer in today's daily rag. So how do we answer that? Well, the primary factor we look at is the message of our models. Our risk appetite models aim to find inflection points in markets at the point of extreme fear and greed. Reflecting the strength in markets yesterday, these models have moved higher, but are not yet signaling exhaustion in this move. That's a view reiterated by our other models, such as our technical scoring system and market internals models, which are also both mid-range. So with no clear bias from the models, there's definitely potential for further upside in markets. One factor that could come into play though is the release of June's non-farm payrolls at 1.30 p.m. London time. Current consensus is for 260k new jobs, which leaves room for both an upside and downside miss. So absolutely worth watching, having stops in place and being in a position to amend your trades as that data is released. That's all from us. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.